how to use the index function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to talk about the index function here. Okay, we are going to talk about two different ways to use index function and let's get started. <laughs> The best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply the index function and while I'm using the index function I will explain every bit of it and you will learn how you can use the index function. Remember index function is used to retrieve data from a location. Okay, You give the index function the row and column index number and it will return you the value of that specific cell. Suppose we have these two range here, we have data in these two range. Okay. Let's talk about the first one. If I select this cell, in this scenario, it is column number 3 and row number 3. So the index number of this cell is 3 by 3. If I click here, the index number of this cell will be fourth column and third row. Okay. Now, if I provide this information to index function, it will give me the value of this specific cell. Now, let's learn how you can use it. Write equal to and then write index. And you can see in the tooltips it says return a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range okay that means the range you are selecting it will consider index number of that specific range okay now double click here and you can see there are two types of parameter here the first one is the most used one you select the array so this is the range and now i will have to give it a row number so i'm going to give it three so i'm going to look in the third row and then i'm going to give the column number four that means column d okay now if i close parenthesis you can see it has only three parameters and if i press enter you can see this is the value third row and fourth column so this was the cell okay let's highlight it so this was the cell and this is the value now let's see how you can use the second set of parameters so write the index function again write equal to and then index if i double click here we are going to use the second set of parameters here okay here you can see the first parameter is reference then row number column number and the last one is area number okay so in the reference we usually select a range but here we can select multiple range okay let me show you first i'm going to select this range and you can see we are still in the reference if i give it a comma and then select the second range okay now you can see we are in the row number section but we'll have to give it a parenthesis so i'm going to add open and close parenthesis and this will indicate we are still in the reference section okay now if i add comma it is asking for the row number so let's use the third row and then use the column reference so we are going to use the fourth column okay now here area number you can see we have two area selected this is the first one and this is the second one it will be depending on the list you have added here okay now let's write here one and if i close parenthesis and press enter it is showing me this cell okay so it is selecting this cell and we can check that if you go to formulas and trace dependence you can see both formula is selecting this one now if i change here to two and press enter you can see it has changed the value so it is looking into this cell so in the second area third row and fourth column you can see this is the area number second area this is the column index number which is four and in the third row the press enter you can see nine and this is the location so this is how you can use the index function index function usually comes with the match function and it is an interesting combination index and match we are going to look at it into the next tutorial until then practice how you can use the index function remember you give the function row and column index number it will return you the value of that specific cell this is the main task of index function Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.